Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Joe Tessitore alongside London Teddy Atlas, and England. welcome to London, London England. United We're at the Kingdom. Royal London Theater for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. This Kingdom should be a good Kingdom one tonight. Both Kingdom fighters Kingdom. say they are primed, Kingdom. coming off a very Kingdom. intense and passionate Kingdom. training camp. This show is adversary by the Royal Brooklyn. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Way. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole. It was close. He's working the box. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Well placed, well timed combo up top. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. Tyson's turning into a star in this sport. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see. What should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight. Can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch that computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Oh, what a whiff by Mike Tyson. Scores with the combo to the head. Turn to center with the left hand. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, Probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part. To understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything because you have to understand how a fight is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. It's just showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Bishop's landed a good, solid combination. Tyson's jammed by an uppercut. A thunderous punch. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. There he goes. He goes down from that head shot. One, two, three. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Tyson's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. 
Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. Good exchange, he fires back. Tyson's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can That's really happen see. in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feel like he's ready to go out there. And another right hand comes in. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Andre Bishop. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. Final 60 seconds after two minutes of pure fury. A good hook by Andre Bishop. Little head knocking with that right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And that's the end of round three. Your back, closing the gap. You get close to fast combinations to the body. He doesn't like those shots to the body. Start of round number four, Andre Bishop's ahead on your scorecard, Teddy, two rounds to one. Uh, a tough fight to score, but when in doubt, it seems like you're going with the guy who's being more active. Yeah, but Joe, is he going to pay a price for that activity? Because sometimes there is a price to be paid. He's winning early, he's doing a lot of work to win. Does he run out of gas? That's my question right now. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the upper, but that time he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Mike Tyson bangs! Big shot. How much more can Tyson take? Not the first time this has happened tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tyson's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Teddy, he's just not keeping up his guard here. He's getting tagged. And you know what, Joe? It's gotten to the point where the corner nice. has to start thinking about much more of this. They have to stop it. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. One, two jabs up top. Good power punch to the body. Andre Bishop finding that target now. That good, meaty torso of his opponent. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. What a good...